Hi, I'm Chris Hague and this is the Fiddle Channel and today we're going to play Big Spike Hammer. <laughs> Spike Hammer was a request from both Bobby and Jill, so I knew it must be a popular one. This was written by the Osborne Brothers. It was recorded also in 1987 by the Bluegrass Album Band, led by Tony Rice and featuring Bobby Hicks. And I'm going to give you his solo, among other things. Uh, incidentally, if you're enjoying the Fiddle Channel videos, there are lots more Bluegrass uh, videos here. And if you want to join me on my Patreon page, there are extra videos there and you can help support what's going on and uh, get all of my PDFs in one go. Anyway, I'm going to give you various sections to this tune. I'm going to give you the intro, the verse and chorus, and then the Bobby Hicks solo, and finally some ideas on how you can improvise a solo. And This is in the key of B, which is probably the main challenge. The second challenge is the structure of the thing, which is not straightforward. But let's start off with the banjo intro. So that's the intro and that doesn't really work very well on the fiddle. I think to make that intro work you have to add some double stops and you have to add some shuffles. So let me try it again. So that's the intro, but if you've got a banjo player, <laughs> leave it to the banjo player and just maybe do a bit of that. Uh, now, the, the vocal is equally confusing, um, but I'll give you the, the vocal, melody and chorus, verse and chorus. One, two, three... It's worth knowing how that goes, <laughs> as it is uh, quite often in um, bluegrass or indeed any kind of music. Know what, what's happening. Um, so, yeah, follow the verse and the chorus and make sure you know uh, what the words are in the chorus so you know what's coming next. Now, to a lot of people, the big spike hammer for the fiddle is just the Bobby Hicks solo. And there are a couple of videos going over in slightly more detail than I'm going to do this Bobby Hicks solo. Um, but I'm going to give you this slightly simplified version. Uh, it's a great solo and it's very much in the style of Vassar Clements, um, which certainly at that time was all the rage and everyone had to do it. Uh, for me, it's still all the rage. But anyway, uh, so I'll do it once slowly and then I'll try and speed it up. One, two, three. <laughs> Okay, 
quite a handful. So, first line is pretty straightforward, but I'll just go through it slowly. I think you should do an F sharp under that. Okay, first difficult phrase. We, uh, we've got an A sharp, so we're sliding up the first finger. Here. So one, one, two. So that's a D natural. Let's just do that phrase. One, two, three, four. One more time, one, two, three, four. Then, now we've got hemiola. This is a six note phrase repeated twice. So that's two, three, one, two, three, three. And then, so you bring your third finger down from there to there. All of those two bars, one, two, three, four. Then, so D natural, there, third finger. Then another tricky phrase, one, two, three, four. So it's three, two, one. And then one, one, two, three. And with most of these phrases, long, long flowing bows. Here we're sliding the third finger down. Three, three, two. Then the final phrase. So that's two, one, three, two, one, three, two, three. Now open D because it's a D natural. And then second finger, first finger next to it. All of that, uh, those three, four bars, one, two, three, four. Now that line actually drifts on a little bit, but it's way behind the, uh, the rest of what's going on there, so you can't really hear it. So let's try and do all of that solo at a moderate tempo with the backing. One, two, three. I would say that solo is too hard to be worthwhile to learn unless you're of the opinion that that is the only way to play it. I would say uh, learn to make your own solo and to do so you need uh, the fingering like that. Stay in one place, keep your first finger as the fiddle capo on the B and the F sharp. And for me at least, to improvise a solo just on that scale is going to be both easier and smoother. And it's probably going to sound better than um, spending weeks <laughs> learning that solo. So let me just play at uh, full speed an improvised solo using just that fingering. So for me, that's far easier, um, but people on the conservative wing of the bluegrass scene definitely want to stick to how it was done. 
and uh, this Bobby Hicks solo I think now is considered how it was done. Uh, thank you for watching. If you would like a copy of the sheet music for this, then do subscribe to the channel and send me an email. If you would like to help support the work I'm doing creating these videos, then do please consider joining me on Patreon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.